This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Tyler Ulis and Jamal Murray found a home in the NBA with the Suns and Nuggets. But Tyler Ulis and, excuse me, Alex Pointhris is still in the process of making a roster. Today, the former Wildcats at John Calipari's UK Pro Camp having some fun with the kids. Alex said he's waiting to confirm what camps he might try out at because the goal is to play in the NBA and not go overseas. This was an opportunity to get his mind off things. No, oh, knees, are, knees are great. You know, I've trained out in L.A. I was doing a lot of rehab, you know, and PT, you uh, know. Uh, add a couple more inches to my vert, you know, I feel fine, feel real healthy, you know, I'm ready, ready to roll, so. So once camp was over with today, John Calipari, his son Brad, Tyler Ulis, Devin Booker, and his brother hopped on a plane to go see the Drake concert in Toronto. Cal tweeted this photo and said, I decided I would let him go. He's talking about his son. Go under one condition. He had to have a chaperone, so I'm headed to the Drake concert. Fans taking in Team USA's last exhibition game before the Olympics in Rio. Kevin Durant and the crew taking on Nigeria. Time winding down the first quarter. DeMar DeRozan falling out of bounds. Hits the fadeaway as the buzzer sounds. Let's go second quarter. Boogie alert. Passes it over to DeRozan and he's slamming it home. Later, the red, white, and blue on the fast break. Kevin Durant, the Euro step in the slam. Good luck to all the teams who face these guys in Rio. They win it 110 to 66 and finish out 4 0 in the exhibition series. Well, Swaggy Cow is probably the best cow you saw. Uh, let's go. The Major League Baseball trade deadline was today, and Jay Bruce is no longer a red. He spent his entire nine year career in Cincinnati, but now he is headed to the Big Apple to play for the New York Mets. Bruce leads the National League in RBI this season with 80 to go along with 25 dingers and a 265 batting average. He becomes the first player traded during the season while leading the league in RBI since the stack became official in 1920. In return, the Reds get 22-year-old second baseman Dilson Herrera and 19-year-old left-hander Max Wodel. Herrera is hitting 276 with 13 homers and 55 RBI at AAA Las Vegas this season. Well, last night, the Clay County Senior League softball team won their first game out at the World Series in Delaware. The girls defeated Garden City, Montana 5-4. Clay County will now Play three more games in Pool B before getting seated in a bracket. That next game is tomorrow against Canada at 10 a.m. The NAIA Mid-South Conference preseason coaches poll is out, and the U-Pike Bears are picked third in the East Division. Check it out. Cincinnati Christian was added to the East, bringing the total number of teams to seven this season. Georgetown and Cumberlands are picked to finish first and second. Union at number four after going one and four the last season and Bluefield, Virginia, and Kentucky Christian are in a tie for fifth, while Cincinnati Christian is picked to finish last. At six, you heard from former Shelby Valley Wildcat coach Eric Ratliff, who is now over at Pike Central. Tonight, we meet the new coach at Valley, Anthony Hampton. Coach Hampton and the Cats are up next in our 40 Teams in 20 Days series. The Shelby Valley Wildcats will deal with a major turnover. Depth and inexperience. Uh, we have a very, very young team, very inexperienced team, very few kids returning that have played a lot of varsity minutes. Valley loses more than 10 starters, including Chandler Rowe. Five. Chandler Rowe is in, and Valley has its first lead of the night. <laughs> a 1,000-yard rusher in three straight seasons. Those kids, you don't replace those kids. Those kids come around just once in a lifetime. New head coach Anthony Hampton has been the defensive coordinator at Valley for more than a decade. And one of the positives is returning starter Luke Atkinson, who led the team with 119 tackles last season. Me and all my other senior buddies, we got to step up. We got to be the voice this year. We had to switch positions with a lot of players, and that's what we're still trying to figure out. But I think he's going to be really good for us. Two years ago, Shelby Valley won a region championship and hosted a state semifinal game. Last year, a letdown with a second round playoff exit. I think part of the problem last year is that we got to let the success last year get to our head and uh, we just didn't work as hard as we needed to. But this year, the, the media, the press, they're all putting us back under underdogs again. It's familiar territory, so we're going to work and hope for success. Jordan Hampton. Touchdown, Shelby Valley. Dark horse roll accepted. 
Now the Wildcats open the season Saturday, August 20th at home versus Franklin County, a team that beat them in the opener last year. That's sports, and we'll be back.